things didn't quite go their way in terms of the whistle from yeah. Nigel Owens? Yeah, I think they do. I think the right team won. I think Nigel Owens didn't have a shocker. There's no controversy. This isn't the Australia-Scotland game. But I think there were there were a few signs during the match, actually in starting pretty early on, that you know, signified that things were not going to go. Look at this forward pass here. Not going to go Australia's way. That is a mile forward. Wayne Barnes is right in line, doesn't think it's forward. Nigel Owens doesn't think it's the other touch. These, that, these, yeah. these, things hap these things happen in, in rugby, but it leads to a penalty and it's three points. Um, so the All Blacks are benefiting when perhaps they shouldn't have. This is a clear high tackle. It's a minimum penalty, which would have given them points. They're in a good position. Nigel Owens is close, but doesn't mean he can see it. Someone else has got to spot that. These things happen. We're not saying that anyone needs to be hammered for this. Um, Pocock, Pocock's hammering was enough, quite enough, but it was a clear penalty, perhaps not a yellow. Have a look at Whitelock's leg here, just sticks it up. Absolutely, in my mind, that's a conscious decision. He's flying along the floor. It takes more effort to raise your leg than not, and this ultimately leads to the Bowden Barrett winning try where he outstrips a, a, a knacker, David Pocock. What I'm not saying, guys, is that the wrong team won. The, the right team won, but I think if they played another day, this could have been a lot closer for Australia. It was never going to happen for them.